As you probably know, if you've got a lot of bread to butter, you need a butter gun. I thought I'd try one out, so I borrowed one from a local hotel. Let's watch what happens. So with this one we borrowed, we aimed the gun carefully at the bread, pulled the trigger, and hey presto, the bread was buttered. To work it, you have to light it up carefully and at just the right distance away, so that it covers all of the bread, but doesn't go past it. But of course, with the first try, I got into trouble, because I'd got the butter too thick, and it would have been too expensive to make the sandwiches. So I decided the sensible thing to do was to move the stand back. If I moved it back twice as far, it ought to cover two slices of bread rather than one, and then the butter would be only half as thick. So instead of looking like this, it would look like this. OK then, now to try it. So we've got it set up, got it aimed carefully, now let's watch. That's not great. The bread is buttered all right, but then so is the board, and so is a bit of the wall behind that. At least the butter on the bread's a lot thinner. What exactly is it that we've done wrong? What we need to do is to put the bread above, as well as, to one side, so that we'll have four slices instead of two slices. Now with the target twice as far away, we're aiming at four slices like this, rather than just two. Now we'll switch the gun on and try again. That's a lot better. There's a little bit on the board, but most of it's on the bread, and it's very thin. If we look at a diagram of this setup, you can see that the area is four times as great. And so, the butter on the bread is only a quarter as thick. If we show on the diagram an extra slice put in at half the distance, you can see that by doubling the distance, the area is increased by four times. One of the first and most important times that this concept was used was by Newton in his theory of universal gravitation. It is a very important idea and applies to a lot of parts of physics. Finally, we'll put the connection between distance and area into an equation. So you can see from the equation that the thickness of the butter, the strength of the gravitational field, the intensity of the light, the strength of the electric field is inversely proportional to the distance from the centre squared.